everyone. Welcome back to the Diabetic Diet Show. Today's an exciting day. We're going to make lasagna, which is one of my favorite things. And we got William stopped by to show us how to make his recipe. He says he's made it several times and it's real, real good. And his mom's here too. Barb says she likes it. So I'm really looking forward to this. It's a little different than the traditional lasagna. This is made with a pasta. So this is going to be exciting. And I'm really lucky because I have a quick tip for you. Today, UPS came and brought us this basket. And at first I thought I was going to go fishing and this was going to be for the boat to put my fish in. And then I remembered I ordered this. And this is for your pasta. So we're going to... Let's put a hand on that there, Mr. William. Put our pasta in like this. How about that, huh? And then, when the water gets boiling, you'll put that in the pot. I was wondering about that. See, I was wondering if they're going to fall out of here or not. Yeah. Okay, well this might be made for bigger pasta. But you know what, if it falls out, it doesn't matter, because if we didn't have this, we wouldn't use it anyway. Right. Right? right. All right, why don't you take and put that in the pot. It's probably almost ready. So this has multiple types of cheese on it, William. It looks like we have some uh, Parmesan we're using. We have mozzarella cheese and this regatta. So that's, that is really, really interesting. So I'll put this aside because I'm sure we're not using pasta. And instead of spaghetti sauce or tomato sauce or paste, we're using a marinara. So that's going to be kind of neat. And I have the rest of our ingredients already, like an egg. We're going to need to put in some basil. We have an onion here. We're going to get cut up. Garlic, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning. This is my Italian seasoning mix from Carrabba's. It's almost gone. I might have to make some more. And, of course, we have uh, ground beef. So we kind of have everything all set and ready to go here. So why don't we go ahead and get started. Um, pasta is uh, ready to boil. I have the oven preheated to 350. Um, let's do the next step. Well, I'll start cutting up this red onion while you get started on your ground beef. Could I just, yeah, why don't you go ahead and pitch that over there. That'll give me room to get this knife out of here. Unfortunately, the red is a little messy. So, let's see what we have here. We have, this is the flat end of the onion. Now just get rid of this outer layer. So you said last time you made this, you made it with yellow onion. Yes. So you could do yellow onion, and I suppose you probably could do Vandalia's, do you think? Because those are sweet. Um, or is it just yellow onions you use? You probably use uh, yellow or red. Yellow or red, okay. And you want these cut up kind of small, um, I'm guessing? Like dice. Yeah, okay. Like eighth inch dice. How's that? It's pretty good. Does that look good? Yes. Alright. So lasagna is one of my favorite things, although you know I haven't made it. Um, I tend to order it out or or whatever, so. I've thought many a time I want to order those flat noodles and all the stuff and make it. Seems like I just haven't done it. I usually just make pasta. Here is your onions. salt and pepper and you want some garlic.
Good or yeah. more? Oh, that's good. Thanks. Okay, so you got your salt and pepper that you're going to do. You know, one of the things when we were putting the show together, I thought of a tip. Use a dry measuring cup for your cheese. It'll work better with your cheese. Because I have the wet one here, which has a quarter cup of water in it, which he's going to use. Smells good. That it does. So the next thing we're going to put in is the Italian seasoning, my Carrabba's Italian seasoning. And of course you can put a lot of that in, that's no big deal. The recipe for that Italian seasoning, the Carrabba's that they mix with their oil and dip bread into, I'll put a link in the show or you can just search in my videos for the Carabas video. So I guess the instructions say two minutes, huh? Yes. Get this out of your way. And then next is going to be your marinara and water. We're using the whole jar on the marinara. By the way, the ingredients, you don't have to write this all down. If you want, just click on the subscribe button and then you hit the more button and you'll see the whole list of ingredients. Or if you want, you can go to the website, which is jamestdds.blogspot.com. You know, ground beef, one thing I like about it is when it gets quiet, it's done. It's like bacon. Just before it smokes. <laughs> when, when bacon smokes, it's past done. That's, <laughs> there's off, there's done, and then there's smoke. <laughs> we did that one day, we had the smoke detector beeping. And I have a fire extinguisher handy, right in case we need it. Is this a good time to have the, uh, the sauce? Yeah, I mean as long as it's cooked, you know, because it's going to cool off your pan. Yeah. But as long, as long as it's cooked, as long as there's no pink in it. Yeah. <laughs> I saved it. You don't want to get, you don't want to get icky on your, water. on your handle. Yeah, but there. Jars are heavy. All right, you gotta stir it in, I guess, huh? Pasta will be done in three minutes. See how quiet that got? Mm -hmm. Perfect timing, William. Our pasta is done, so I will go get that drained while you stir. Handles aren't even hot. Mm. Pretty cool. Here's the pasta. You ready for me to dump it in there? Uh, yes. Okay. You want to dump it? Uh, I, I can stir while you. Okay. You know, one neat thing is this is just boiling. This just came off the stove. It was boiling, and the handles aren't even hot on the pan. I tell you, I really like these pans. Spray in the pan and then he's going to put the pasta in there. You want me to dump it? I got it. Okay. Heavy, isn't it? Maybe. Oh, look at that, huh? 
Okay. Okay, well, here's our regatta cheese. Or this could also be spackle if I accidentally went to the hardware store. Mix it. I'm playing. I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not working like I'm supposed to be. Look at this. This looks good. Okay, here's your Parmesan. I measured out about a quarter of a cup. Let you put that in and This is nice. You don't have to be careful with this because this is not strong at all. If you were doing cayenne pepper or something like that, you know, even black pepper, you know, you don't put too much in there. Salt. Want a whisk? You like folding it? Okay. And then we put this on top of the pasta. So now we put it in the oven. You should hold it. Or spread it around. Smile. Looks good, huh? We just took it out of the oven. So probably a big piece about like this. Cut down here, in the center. Cut these things up like they're like it's a big piece of chocolate cake, huh? Yeah. That's really really good. That's a really great idea. Let's see if I can get this out of here now. I use this big spatula. I might have to have a smaller one. <laughs> smaller one. Here we go. I got one right here. I'm gonna have to have this to get it out. It's delicious. <laughs> it smells delicious too. Wow. Look at this, folks. That is great. Really hot. We'll let it cool. And then I have some Italian bread here. So I'm going to cut up the Italian bread. Three of us, so we're going to do three real big pieces. And then whoever is the nicest gets the last one, the heel. And then I also have this garlic spread that we'll use. So this looks great, William. Thank you for coming over and showing us how to make this. And until you come back again, I guess we'll say goodbye for now.